Tuna fisheries are at a turning point in the Pacific. We've seen heavy depletion in certain stocks, like for instance, the Pacific bluefin tuna, which is at less than 3% of its historic biomass. And that should be a shocking figure for anyone, that the historic stock has been depleted to the point where the tank is almost empty. hundreds of thousands of tons of fish goes unaccounted or, or, or wasted or is sold in such a way that it funds illegal activities. If we don't improve traceability and we don't put technology mechanisms in place to address illegal fishing, then we're going to see continued declines in our fisheries. If you have the opportunity as a consumer to know with confidence that you're buying from a fishery that engages in sustainable and ethical practices, then of course you would want to do that. If it was easy, it's even better. And I think that's something that the blockchain technology actually offers. Because of the nature of the blockchain, because it's immutable and it's distributed and it's tamper-proof, it creates an opportunity for verification and validation. It allows retailers and buyers to have confidence as to the attributes of that fish, how it was produced, where it was produced, you know, what kind of vessels caught it. And that can have a huge impact on the water, both in terms of sustainability and, and ethical practices. In time, what we're going to see is blockchain become the industry standard for, for transparency and traceability. When you walk through the door into a supermarket, you know, in the very near future, you'll be able to flip up your tablet or your smartphone and it will instantaneously highlight areas of the store, whether it's sustainable or ethically sourced or whatever you might be looking for. It's really exciting to think about the potential for that technology and, and what it could mean in terms of helping consumers make the right choices and, and drive things in a sustainable and ethical direction.